What is, what is sin? First John 3, 4. Sin is the transgression of the law. The laws set boundaries for man. The greatest bondage any man can have is freedom without limitation. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man can come to God except by me. There is no alternative. Glory be to God. Another beautiful opportunity to share with God's people. Bless God for His holy name. Was good works. Now this question is, uh, it says, if grace saves and empowers against sin, why do we occasionally sin and fall from grace? Uh, the Bible said that, that whosoever is born of God cannot commit sin. Cannot sin. And why does God make provision for restoration? That's about five questions in one, a minimum of four. But we'll take time to check them gradually. For now, I will give a general background, then the subsequent parts, I'll deal with the different parts of the question. Now, for now, the question is, if grace saves and empowers against sin, uh, this question, one of the questions that was asked when we were teaching on salvation, and said, if grace saves and empowers against sin, why do we occasionally sin and fall from grace? You know, let me take it from there. What is, what is sin? First John 3, 4. Sin is the transgression of the law. The laws set boundaries for man. Whether it's law of God, whether it's law of man, whatever, sets boundaries. And I, I dare say to you that the greatest bondage any man can have is freedom without limitation. Actually, what we call boundaries are not bondages. They are actually, they actually define our, we, our freedom. Undefined freedom is actually another way of describing of describing bondage. But that's actually bondage. Any limitless freedom is actually bondage. Because you will end up actually robbing yourself up. Praise God. But God loves us too much to live us that way. So he has left instructions for us on how to live. Not so that we can get to heaven. So that we can live a life that is worthwhile on earth that we ourselves will enjoy and we give him pleasure. Praise God, because we cannot by good works get to the kingdom of God. And that's why we say we are saved by grace. Yes, having been saved, we are we, having been saved, we do good works going forward. But then we must be saved first by grace, not by works. We are saved to do good works, but we are not saved by good works. Praise the Lord. That has to be stated clearly before we begin to talk about the issues that are raised in the question. Please remember, we are saved by grace. Thank you.